Hey there, YouTubers. So we have a unboxing video, and uh, broke out the good 4K camera. This was the uh, Panasonic FC80 that I have, courtesy of Panasonic, and uh, we got the old tripod out. Let me make sure I set this up a little better. Okay, so this unboxing video. Then we're going to talk about the features of this uh, here motherboard. Um, so it's Gigabyte H310MA. Um, it's LG A1151 and uh, chipset H310. This is uh, actually for a uh, HN Intel processor. Um, surprisingly, this doesn't, you know, say Z370 on it, or uh, like you see on most of the HN. But this uh, this should be a pretty good motherboard. All right, so let's look at some of the features, and then I'll try and point out some of the stuff on on the actual motherboard when I open it up. All right, so. Um, we got the light, of course the light shines right in this, right? So let me move this over to the left. So, um, just like it says in the back, HN Intel Core Processor. This uh, this has one PCI Express 3.0 uh, by 16. It'll have uh, display outputs of DisplayPort HDMI. Um, and for me, that's all I really need. Memory type, dual channel DDR4, two slots for that. Um, not sure what the max memory is. It's probably 32 gigs. Um, I would assume two 16 gig sticks. Um, so, uh, it's also got uh, two PCI Express 2.0 um, by ones. Four SATA 3 spots, so... Uh, you can get uh, possibly up to four hard drives that way, or uh, three hard drives and a DVD-ROM or Blu-ray uh, player in there. Got one slot for an M2 uh, SSD, and it's a NVMe. Uh, and this is a Gen 2. So also four USB 3.1s. And six USB 2.0. So that's actually quite a bit of USBs um, this thing will have. Audio 8 channel. And this is a micro ATX board, just in case we didn't cover that. So um, in a moment, we'll take a look at this. Um, it's a little better idea what it looks like on the back. And we'll see that here shortly. Uh, another thing to point out, this does support the RGB light strips. Um, so that's pretty cool. And uh, some of the other technology with it, the Smart Fan 15. So you can do some pretty good monitoring. All right, so let's go ahead and get this open. And where the hell the tape was. Okay. So the first thing you expect is your uh, cover plate, universal cover plate. They gave me two SATA cables, which is good. I'll need those. It'd be nice to get a few more than two. And let me uh, let me pull this out. But before that, I'm going to ground myself. Make sure I don't destroy motherboard before we even get to play with it. I'm going to tape this in the back, but I really did a freaking number on it. Seems like my Christmas packaging that I do. Okay, so alright. Uh, so um Let's point out the easy things. Obviously, the CPU goes there, 8 Gen. 
We have over here our two memory slots. We have the four SATA connectors there. This will be uh, the power supply bus here. This is your PCI 16 um, PCI Express 3.0 by 16 basically where your video card is going to go. Assuming you have one, this does have the integrated graphics uh, with the 8th gen chips. Um, here's your, uh, your other PCI slots. And let's find the uh, the M2 should be on here somewhere. Funny these things don't just jump out at you. I just did a installation on one and oh here you go. So here's your uh, M2 device and the screw that you have to remove. And we will be uh, taking advantage of that on this build. All right, so what else do we have? This is probably the CPU fan. Um, sorry, CPU fan's right in here. I don't, you know, I don't even see an owner's manual in here. Unless it's under the box. Oh, there it is. So, there is a box under the uh, packaging. Let me bring this up a little closer. And I'm going to actually let you guys see this. Alright. So, usually I like to go over these. And uh, this is just as good. It's harder to get this shit off the internet. So, Alright, so here are your connectors. You've got the uh, old PS2 keyboard port and PS2 mouse port. I really don't know. Um, that's kind of sad that I picked this out with that on her. So I really don't need that. It has display port and HDMI. And then a uh, couple of USB 2.0s on the back as well as 3.1s. Um, there's a Ethernet port right there that you can see. And uh, line in, line out, mic in, so all that good stuff. All right, now we flip it over. So a lot of times I get really good manuals on these motherboards. In this case, not that impressed with it. Um, probably gonna have to go online and download it and see if there's a better one. But this one is not too good. Luckily, I've installed enough of these that it's not that big a deal, but that manual is not the best. Um, most of your connectors should be up here. Point out, um, there is the audio one. USB 3.0. We already did the SATA. The ones that are a pain in the ass to do. There's USB. Alright, well, there's a system fan over here if you can see it. Um, should be two of those. I only see the one though, folks. That's a little scary. Should be a second one on here somewhere. Hopefully, you know, I'm shooting this in 4K, so hopefully you are able to see something. Um, if you put this on your 4K TV. So the installation guide Installation guide is multiple languages, which is annoying as shit. Um, I prefer to just get an English only one. Not too, uh, not the best installation guide. I'm a little disappointed with Gigabyte here. It's a little hard to show you guys. But uh, there's an example of what you're, what you're looking at. Multiple languages. 
so we'll have probably not the most fun with this. So hopefully there's some good stuff on here. Uh, the disc says drivers and utilities. Okay, so we'll see how that goes. All right, well, um, check back to hear how the build goes. Thanks for checking out my video. Please like, please subscribe. If you have any questions, um, hopefully I'll be able to answer them. Thank you and have a nice day.